Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about aging, but not the way you think. We're going to talk about a study. We're going to discuss the study that will explain how to keep your muscles healthier and stronger and save those fast-twitch fibers for longer as you age. As many of us know, the population is aging quickly. By 2050, one in six will be over the age of 65. So with this being said, it is crucial that now we must find ways to maintain the health of our muscles. Quality it is of utmost importance, especially for the younger guys that are gonna be 65 by 2050. I have been following a specific program that includes protein, high protein diet, creatine, L-citrulline, omega-3s, and regulating carbohydrate intake depending on how much I exercise and do on a specific day. And what's interesting is that just recently, I discovered a study that speaks about this identical regimen I have been doing for years. One key difference is that I added two other ingredients to the mix in the last two years, which I will touch upon later in the video. If I were to choose my top supplements, the ones I discuss here will be them. The name of the study we're going to talk about is Eat Like an Athlete, Insights of Sports Nutrition Science to Support Active Aging and healthy older adults. The study says that we need to eat like athletes to apply to the aging process. And this is what I've been doing all these years, all these decades. So let's discuss what the study says and why I agree with it 100%. Before I go on, I would like to talk about certain terminology that you may be familiar with this one. It's called sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is the loss of skeletal muscle mass that naturally occurs as we age. But there is another term you may not be familiar with. It's called dynopenia. This happens before sarcopenia and it is the loss of muscle power and strength. As we age, we lose about two to 4% of muscle power per year. That's two to five times faster than muscle mass is lost. And this starts earlier than you may think. We can actually, now we scientists can actually start to measure sarcopenia in the fifth decade of life. That's between the age of 40 and 49. And the loss of muscle power, dynopenia, begins even before that in our 30s. And this applies to elite athletes also. Nature spares no one. Everybody's affected with this. Now, think about what this means. As we age, we know we slow down. We're not as fast, as, fast, as agile, as mobile as we were in our 20s or teens. That's just part of life. And this is the reason why this happens. We lose muscle power. And the loss of muscle power also increases your risk of falls, which can lead to loss of independence. And that is not all. Studies show that sarcopenia is linked to negative metabolic health outcomes, meaning it can impact overall health and well-being, not just the muscles. And dynopenia, the loss of muscle power, is even worse for metabolic issues as the years go by. Now for the good news. This study highlights how we can fight back against age-related muscle loss and power using strategies that athletes have been using for years. You don't have to be a professional athlete to benefit from these insights. The first we're gonna speak about is dietary protein. Okay, you're being told by the experts to eat a low protein diet to deactivate mTOR, but no, you must eat high protein as you age. Why? Because as we age, our muscles become less responsive to protein, a phenomenon known as anabolic resistance, which means we need more dietary protein to activate muscle protein synthesis. That's to build more muscle tissue. This process is crucial for maintaining muscle mass, strength and quality, especially as older adults naturally experience a decline in muscle mass over time. Studies show that in both the U.S. and the U.K., most adults tend to eat more than half of their daily protein at just one meal, usually lunch or dinner. However, studies show that in older adults who spread their protein intake more evenly across all their meals tend to have more muscle mass overall. This happens because evenly spreading the protein throughout the day helps the body build more muscle more often instead of just once when most of the protein is eaten in a single meal. This is contrary to a recent study where they said you could eat 100 grams of protein in one meal and it creates muscle protein synthesis just as spreading it throughout the day. You gotta remember something. This study that with 100 grams in one meal used young people. 
Young people assimilate protein different than older people. So I don't agree with that study where you could take 100 pro grams of protein in one meal, especially if you're older. Older adults should approach their protein intake similarly to athletes. Athletes don't eat one meal a day at 100 grams. Consuming a higher amount of protein, 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight daily, and distributing even across meal, rather than concentrating it in one meal, will help optimize muscle health. For instance, while younger adults may stimulate muscle protein synthesis with about 20 grams of protein per meal, older adults require close to 35 grams per meal to achieve the same benefit. Now, pairing protein intake with regular exercise, especially resistance training and power training, further enhances muscle protein synthesis and helps preserve muscle mass and quality, preventing frailty and promoting better physical function in later life. By adopting an athletic approach to nutrition and exercise, all adults can effectively fight age-related muscle loss and maintain overall vitality. I've said it many times on my channel, I consume at a minimum two grams of protein and many times three grams of protein per kilo of body weight daily. I do this because I train a lot and this helps me recuperate and enhance the quality of my muscles. And by the way, my three grams of protein falls in line within the recommended guidelines for athletes. Next up, creatine monohydrate. This is the one I take. Creatine is a natural substance found in our muscles that help us supply energy for short bursts of intense activity. As we age, our muscles lose an important compound called phosphocreatine, which helps provide the quick bursts of energy needed for activities like sprinting and heavy lifting. This decline in phosphocreatine contributes to the gradual loss of muscle power and strength over time because we also lose fast twitch muscle fibers in aging. However, creatine monohydrate, a well-known supplement among athletes, can do much more than just help build strength. It can actually replenish those phosphocreatine stores and can seriously support muscle health. For athletes, creatine is famous for improving performance in high-intensity activities like weightlifting or sprinting, boosting results by 10 to 20%. But for older adults, the benefits go deeper. Studies show that taking three to five grams of creatine daily, especially when paired with resistance training, can lead to noticeable improvements in muscle mass, strength, and thickness. More interesting, some studies have shown that creatine supplementation can enlarge the diameter of type two fast twitch muscle fibers even without working out. Please remember, it enlarges the ones you have, it doesn't create new ones. I just wanted to clarify this. It even helps support muscle stem cells, those behind muscle repair and growth, which naturally decline as we age. In other words, creatine isn't just about getting stronger. It helps maintain the quality and resilience of your muscles as you get older. What's even better is that long-term studies involving older adults have found creatine to be safe, with no harmful effects on kidneys and liver function. So while creatine may be marketed to athletes, it's actually a fantastic tool for anyone looking to stay strong, maintain muscle health, and fight the natural effects of aging. As for myself, I take 20 grams of creatine daily, five grams, four times per day. I make sure that my phosphocreatine levels are always full and my fast switch fibers are always activated. Now let's talk about omega-3s, omega-3 fatty acids. You probably heard about the heart healthy benefits of omega-3s, but they are also important for muscle health. For athletes, omega-3 help reduce inflammation, speed up recovery, and even make muscles more responsive to protein. This is one of the reasons why I take it, boosting muscle repair and growth. They can also cut down on muscle soreness at the workouts and reduce muscle damage. For older adults, omega-3s can play a big role in slowing down muscle loss that comes with aging. Regular supplementation has been shown to improve muscle strength, increase muscle mass, and even enhance daily function, like grip strength or getting out of a chair more easily. What's more interesting is that older women seem to benefit more than men from omega-3s, with noticeable improvements in muscle quality and performance when taking two grams daily. I personally take three grams daily to make sure I meet my needs. Sometimes I go even higher. Another interesting nutrient discussed in the study is inorganic nitrates. They work by relaxing your blood vessels 
which help your body deliver more oxygen and nutrients to your muscles and other tissues. This is why many people, especially recreational athletes, use nitrate-rich foods or supplements like beetroot juice to improve endurance and reduce how much effort exercise feels. For older adults, the benefits are even more important. As we age, our blood vessels can become stiffer and less efficient, leading to higher blood pressure and less effective nutrient delivery to our muscles. Diets high in nitrates have been shown to lower blood pressure and improve circulation, which not only supports heart health, but also helps muscles stay nourished and healthy over time. Personally, I don't eat inorganic nitrates. However, I take something even better. I think it's even better. It's called L-citrulline. I take 20 grams of L-citrulline daily, which serves me the same purpose. Again, five grams, four times daily. It increases nitric oxide, supports better blood flow, and helps deliver oxygen and nutrients to muscles and other tissues. The difference is that L-citrulline is effective for prolonged nitric oxide production and muscle recovery. Inorganic nitrates provide immediate nitric oxide release, beneficial for cardiovascular function. Choosing between them depends on your specific health or performance goal. I prefer long-lasting nitric oxide production, and that's why I take L-citrulline. Finally, the study mentions carbohydrate periodization. This is a fancy way of saying that you should adjust your carbohydrate intake based on your activity level. On days when you're more active, you'll need more carbs to fuel your workouts. But on rest days, you can lower your carb intake to match your lower energy needs. For older adults, while athletic performance might not be the ideal goal, the idea still applies. Physical activity is crucial for staying healthy and maintaining strength as we age and carbs can play a role in making exercise more enjoyable. Eating carbs during activity can boost energy levels, reduce effort, and encourage sticking to a regular workout routine. Some people don't like carbs, I do. However, on days with little or no activity, it's important to adjust carb intake to match lower energy needs. Overeating carbs or calories on rest days can lead to weight gain and increased abdominal fat, which is linked to higher risks of diabetes and other health issues. The key is to finding the right balance to support an active lifestyle while maintaining a healthy weight. As for carbs, I do exactly what this study suggests. The more active I am, the more carbs I consume. However, I do not eat carbs after 8 p.m. And when I do eat carbs, the meals are very small, but I eat five, sometimes six small meals per day. Now I want to speak to you about the two supplements I added to this regimen. One is beta alanine. Two years ago, I added beta alanine because it helps your muscles perform better by boosting their ability to buffer acid during intense exercise. Beta alanine increases the levels of carnosine, a compound found naturally in muscles, particularly in the fast switch fibers used for power and speed. These fibers are crucial for explosive movements like sprinting or lifting heavy weights. I'm sure you guys know about this. Interestingly, research shows there's no set upper limit how much carnosine muscles can store, meaning the benefits of a beta alanine supplementation continue as I take it over time. Beyond buffering, carnosine also helps muscles work more efficiently by improving how calcium is handled in muscle cells. Calcium is the signal that tells muscles to contract, especially fast switch fibers that generate power and speed. By enhancing the muscle sensitivity to calcium, carnosine supports stronger, quicker contractions. This is why I choose to take beta alanine long term. It continuously builds my muscles' defense against fatigue while optimizing their power and performance. The standard dosage of beta alanine supplementation is 4 to 6 grams daily, divided in smaller doses to minimize the itching side effects some people experience. As for me, I take much more than the recommended dosage. I also take 20 grams daily, maybe even more at times. I do not experience any itching, and I take 5 grams 4 to 6 times daily. Now, as for the last ingredient in this mix, TMG. I take TMG, also known as betaine, because it supports muscle performance and body composition, making it an excellent addition to my routine. Betaine is a compound naturally found in foods like beets, spinach, and whole grains, but supplementation ensures I'm getting enough to maximize its benefits. Studies have shown that TMG betaine can increase muscle power, with research on resistance-trained men revealing that just six weeks of supplementation led to a greater power 
during exercises. For someone like me who values power and performance, this is a big deal. TMG also helps with building lean muscle while reducing body fat. Over six weeks, research has shown it can increase arm size and lean body mass while lowering body fat percentage. Results that align with my goals for fitness, longevity, and health. I personally take three grams of TMG daily, which is in line with the recommended dosage. I get mine from this company right here, Particular. I made a video on this before. The video is in the upper right corner, if you wish to look at it. I will post the code and the link in the description box if you wish to purchase this. I am not forcing you to buy anything. The decision is solely up to you. This is just the brand I take. While nutrition is vital to maintaining muscle health as we age, it's not the whole story. For optimal results, we need to combine proper nutrition with regular exercise. That's a must. And when we talk about exercise for older adults, resistance and power training are key. You know, exercises such as, you know, weightlifting with speed, like squats, lunges, even push-ups, popping push-ups, plyometrics, jumps, box jumps, things like sprints, those kind of exercises. Resistance training involves using weights, resistance bands, or even your own body weight to challenge your muscles. It helps build muscle mass, increase power, and improve overall functional fitness. And don't worry, you don't have to lift heavy weights to see the results. There are plenty of ways to modify resistance training exercises to suit your fitness level. Just use lighter weight and go fast. Do as many reps as possible. Or just do box jumps. If you can't go high, just go low. But you need to work those fast switch fibers. Beyond resistance and power training, it's also important to find activities where you're always moving, you enjoy and can do consistently. This could be anything from brisk walking or swimming to dancing, gardening. The key is to stay active and keep moving. By combining the nutritional strategy we discussed, increasing your protein intake, considering creatine and omega-3 supplementation, incorporating nitrate-rich foods or citrulline, adjusting your carbs, possibly adding beta alanine and TMG to the mix with regular exercise, particularly resistance and power training, you're giving yourself the best chance to age more youthfully maintaining your independence, and enjoy high-quality life for years to come. The takeaway message from this study is clear. You don't have to passively accept age-related decline. I, I'm, I'm definitely not going for it. By adopting some of the same nutritional strategies used by athletes, you can maintain your muscle health, strength, power, and independence as you age. Of course, I have to say this, it's always best to talk to your doctor or registered dietitian before making any major dietary changes. I'll leave you with this. Be proactive about your health. Make informed choices and keep striving to stay youthful and to live the best you can. I mean, this is what I do every day. I'm trying to stay as young as possible, as long as possible. Have a wonderful day. Maybe this information helped you. See you soon in my next video.